this is the first section, which is catching up, which is about looking at what Scratch is and learning each different page of the Scratch website. So we're going to open this website and discover what it has to offer. You can see here that there is a menu and it has four different things you can do. You can create. When you click on this, it's going to take you to a place where you can create a new project. You can explore other people's projects. You can click on ideas, which will take you to a bunch of very small tutorials that can be very useful if you're looking for a specific information. Or you can click about, and that will take you to, to further information about the Scratch platform, the team that made it, etc. Here you can see that I have my own profile. You can create your own profile so that you can talk to people on the Scratch platform. You can give each other tips and, and look at other people's projects. Now, we're going to click on this and see what happens. I'm going to start with the create part. As I said, when you click on the create button, it takes you to a new project. Uh, as you can see here, you have your working space. On the right, you have you have a space where the game is going to what the game is going to look like. Uh, you have the green flag and the little red dot that signify that the game is about to start or end. Uh, you have the blocks that you're going to use, etc. And right here, you can, and right here on the menu, if you click on this little ball here, you can choose the language that you want to use. In file, you can choose to create a new website, to create a new project, sorry, or to save it, save this, save this project as a copy. You can even create something on your computer and load it, or you can even save this to your computer. So it's basically like any, any, uh, any website that involves files and things like that. Now, edit here, you can turn on turbo mode, which is basically, it basically just, uh, just a faster way of, of running the game. It's just the game, but faster. Uh, just in case you want to see that your program works well, but you don't actually want to play the game. You just want to quickly see if your game works well. Now I'm going to turn off turbo mode for now. Uh, you also have quick access to some tutorials. Here you can name your project and you can share your project on the platform. Then uh, we go back to the, to the previous stage. I'm going to go to the ideas section. Now in here, like I said, you have a bunch of tutorials on what you can do on Scratch. Of course, the first tutorial is getting started. There's a tutorial on how to make a story, etc. This is a great page to check out if you need inspiration or things like that, or if there is a specific thing on Scratch that you don't understand. If you click the about section, as I said, it's just uh, some some information on Scratch as a website, on the developing team, Scratch and its usage in school. It's a bunch of articles that are very nice to, if you want to know the impact that Scratch does, if you want to create a project on Scratch to, to have a presentation in class or anything like that. Now here, if you create a profile, you can have your, you can see your messages. Again, I said, as I said, Scratch is an interactive website where you can interact with other users just so you can see what they created, they can see what you created, and you can share tips and tricks. And in this folder here, it's your stuff. It's your old projects. You might have noticed that I skipped over a section, which is the Explore section, and that's because I wanted to save it for last because it's my favorite section. So let's discover what it has to offer. When you click it, you can see that it has all the featured projects of, of the people who made them, different people around the world, like you, who are learning how to use Scratch. As you can see, these are a bit advanced. Well, some are a bit advanced and some are, some are, some are simple. Uh, you can look at all the projects or you can go by criteria like animation art. Or you can also choose if you want to see trending projects, like projects that are that are popular right now, or projects that have all, always been popular, or even recent projects. Now, 
this seems like it's nice. Like you can see all the projects that have been shared. You can click on them and play them. It's good for inspiration, but that's not my favorite part. So let's click on this random project. As you can see here, you can, you can like see the, the description that the person made, the project loads, you can play the game, but that's not what I'm interested in right now. My absolute favorite part is the remix and see inside. So I'm going to click on see inside. You can see which blocks and which sprites and exactly how this game was made. So if you want to make your own version, you can do that. It is such an amazing learning tool. I, I think this is absolutely amazing. You can like see every single block that the person used. It introduces you to new ways of doing things. Uh, if you want to create a specific game, you can look for a game that looks like it and see the blocks and get inspired by it. I think this is an amazing learning tool for people who always want to learn on this platform. And you can also click on Remix if you want to introduce your own your own blocks and make you can use this project as a starting point and introduce other blocks to, in order to change it. If you don't have an internet connection, you can actually download Scratch and use the offline version. It has all of the blocks, all of the, the tools that help you create a good game. The only thing that it doesn't have is other people's projects, access to messages, and all of those things. But if you want to create a game independently without looking for, for inspiration from other people or anything like that, you can use the Scratch offline, to, offline tool. That was the first subsection. Congratulations on going through it. To recap what we've learned, we've been through the entire Scratch website and we've discovered how you can access your messages, how you can access your project, how you could create a new project, learn more about Scratch, how you could actually uh, discover other people's projects and how you could learn from them and modify them to make them your own. I'm gonna see you in the next section.